What happens when you drop a blind person and a million dollar self-driving car into the same maze? It sounds like an unfair match, but the result might surprise you. The blind person, despite not seeing, carries an ancient form of intelligence, a kind of space-time magic the car can't touch. The self-driving vehicle, on the other hand, is more like a top student who memorized all the answers. Great until the test throws a curveball. This car needs perfect maps and endless data to function. It knows where walls are, but doesn't really understand space. It remembers paths, but can't truly imagine new ones. When it encounters something unfamiliar, it stalls. Humans, in contrast, don't need eyes to navigate. We use ears, touch, memory, and our brains combine all of it to form internal maps. In new places, our hippocampus lights up with place cells telling us where we are. At the same time, our interrhinal cortex lays down a mental grid. As we move, the brain marks our position like GPS border cells warn us when we're close to the wall. Vector cells calculate how far we are from doors, tables, or trees. Even in identical looking hallways, the brain can tell them apart. While the car waits for another update, the brain dives into its memory palace, recalling layouts of malls, offices, forests, and instantly builds a model of its surroundings. We predict, we improvise, we generalize. In this race, the self-driving car loses not because it lacks tech, but because it lacks the core of intelligence, the ability to truly understand. Long before we had maps, humans were already exploring. Now scientists are working to teach AI how we do it. They're modeling hippocampal systems with tools like predictive coding and TEM, helping machines build their own sense of space, not just from sensors, but from experience.